Hello, my friend. This is Victor Piccini, and welcome to the Be Seen and Heard journey. Videos and audios that will empower you. Hey, it's Victor, and I want to say thank you for joining me today on the Be Seen and Heard journey. Today we are talking about some strategies that you could use as a parent to educate your children at home about this very difficult topic of abuse. I get a lot of moms and dads that ask me, hey, Victor, you go to schools, you talk to our kids about it, but how can we implement this at home? And it must be easy for you. Well, maybe because I have been doing this for a long time and I'm very comfortable talking about it, I know it's not always easy to talk about a very sensitive topic like abuse. Let me give you some context. One day my son, Angelo, came home from school. And he said, Dad, today we had our Aaron's Law presentation at school. I said, cool, tell me, what did you learn? And he talked about safe touch and unsafe touch. And then he brought up the idea that he's like, Dad, I learned that if I ever find a gun, that I'm not supposed to touch it, and I'm supposed to go tell an adult right away. Well, immediately I stopped in my tracks, and I am not exaggerating. I went, what? See, I didn't know they were talking about if you ever find a gun, and I didn't read that anywhere, so I got really concerned and a little frustrated and a little upset because I don't even talk to my kids about if you ever find a gun. So I understand that this may not be easy to talk about. And long story short, as time has gone on, I think it was really good that they did talk to my kids about that because, I mean, you never know. I mean, I want them to be aware. And I want them to know that if they're ever in a situation like that and they do happen to find one, let's say at a friend's house somewhere while they're playing hide and seek, that they know, number one, you don't touch it. And number two, you go tell an adult. Very simple. And so I'm kind of glad that the school did talk about that. Now, let me give you three strategies that I use as a parent at home with my kids. Number one, if you have different age children at home, you don't want to talk the same language to your kindergartner as you would your seventh grader. So if you have a kindergartner or a young child, you want to use simple language, like the words safe touch and unsafe touch. And something that I did when I, my kids were in kindergarten and first grade is when I would give them a bath, I would use that rule and I would say, just remember, you know, no one touches your private body parts unless it is to keep you clean and healthy. And that would be mommy or daddy or grandma and grandpa if you spend the night and, and they're giving you a bath. Uh, and that's different for everybody. Not everyone allows their grandparents to, to do that. But for in our situation, we do. And then secondly, when you go to the doctor, it's okay for the doctor to touch you because their job is to keep you healthy. So that's a thumbs up and use that thumbs up and thumbs down. And another thing that you want to add to this is you want to do it more than once. You want to make this, you know, they say repetition is the mother of skill. So you don't have to do it all the time, but every so often just keep repeating that to your child. I think that's a really important strategy. And again, don't use the same language you would for a seventh grader as you would for a kindergartner, obviously. Another strategy, and I should have started with this, is just to be aware. I, I get a lot of parents that say, that have said to me, oh, abuse doesn't happen in our community. Well, <laughs> I hate to bring bad news, but the bottom line is abuse happens no matter where you're at. And it's really sad, but we have to raise our awareness. So something that I do is when my daughter, who's in seventh grade, goes to a sleepover, we have a code phrase that I say basically to her before she goes into the house that basically says this without using the word sexual abuse. I say the code phrase and she says, dad, I got it. So it just brings the awareness up in her mind so that when she goes into that house that she's aware of her surroundings and her body. The third strategy I want to share is this. I'm a firm believer that for me, and I'm being very personal right now, for me, I like to have open communication with my children. My parents, as much as I love them, they were never the type of parents that would say, hey, Victor, if anything's ever hurting you, come to us. They just never did that. So with my kids, I'm very open with this. Listen, if anything is ever bothering you or something's on your mind, please come to me first. Let's have that conversation. Okay, let's recap. Number one strategy is, Raise your awareness as a parent as it pertains to this very difficult topic. Number two, use simple language, 
especially if you have younger kids, words like safe touch, unsafe touch, and repeat it over and over again. And number three, build trust and have open communication with your kids as they get older. I want to thank you so much. Please share this with your family and friends. And remember, every child deserves to be seen and heard. Thank you. Hey, my friend, I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Be Seen and Heard journey. If you'd like to follow me, please go to youtube.com forward slash Victor Piccini or instagram.com forward slash childhood victories or head over to facebook.com forward slash childhood victories or visit my website, victorpiccini.com. Please share this with your friends and family. And until next time, be seen and heard.